Hey guys, super excited. Today I am heading off on a solo ice fishing adventure targeting panfish. Um, this is my second trip out on the ice this season. I've been sick over the past few days as you might hear in my voice and just a uh, heads up, you might hear some sniffling as well in the video today. But I'm really excited to get outside, get out of the house. The truck is loaded up and I'm ready to go. So let's hit the ice. So I just arrived here at the lake. Uh, it's a little bit foggy out today. I have about a two kilometer walk out to the area that I want to fish, which is a weed line. And uh, it's going to be really, really nice out today, which is another reason that even though I'm a little bit sick still, I wanted to get out and there's going to be a high of seven degrees Celsius. So that is awesome. I won't have to be super bundled up and uh, I'm looking forward to it. So hopefully I can find some panfish out here today. Ideally bluegill, pumpkin seed, my favorite crappie. Um, I haven't been out on this lake yet this season, but I have been here in the past. Um, I've heard that there's about eight inches of ice, but I will have my spud with me. I'll be wearing ice picks. I'll have cleats on and my flotation suit as well. So um, I'll be super careful and I've also let someone know where I'm going. So uh, looking forward to getting out there. Time to load up the gear and uh, make my long journey out. So my walk has been pretty good so far. Definitely tired, dragging my gear. Almost to my destination when there is a huge pressure crack. So now I need to decide whether I want to empty out my gear, climb over this hill, go on the other side of the crack and then have to come back through that in the dark or fish a new area. We will see. fish down there. Bunch of fish. Come on, come on. My screen is just loaded with fish right now. Oh, there's one coming flying up. Got it. Woo! All right. First sunfish. Very tiny, but nonetheless, the targeted species. Woohoo! <laughs> This hook it on. Super tiny. Hopefully he's got some bigger buddies. Come on fish, eat. I made it out on the ice past the pressure crack. 
Uh, I've drilled a bunch of holes and I've set myself up between a weed line and a deeper flat, hoping to intercept some fish there. Uh, so far I've picked up a couple little sunfish. I'd love to see some crappie, some bigger sunfish, and some bluegill. So we will see. And I didn't mention this earlier, but I just came out for the afternoon bite, so I really only have a couple hours out here before it starts getting dark. So uh, the wind picked up, it's starting to die a little bit now. We'll see how it goes. Oh, here comes a fish. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's gonna be a pike. Oh, okay, this is a big fish. Oh, this is a big fish. Oh. <laughs> Holy cow, I'm guessing this is a pike. Some kind of predator because huge mark and the panfish seem to vanish. So, what do we have here? We can get the head up the hole. <laughs> it's giving me quite a fight on this light rod. <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> oh yeah, it's a pike, it's a pike. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> this is a bit crazy. Okay. Got him. Got him. <laughs> wow. Oh, hello, hello. Hold on, hold on. Don't break me off. White line. Feisty fish. Wow. That is not a bad pike. A little caught up here. Barely hooked. Micro hook. <laughs> nice! So this is why all the panfish left. This guy right here. Beautiful. Send him back. Hopefully he'll scram out of here so I can catch some sunnies. Down he goes. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, missed. Dang. Hit it again. Hit it again. Gotcha. Oh yay! Another sunfish. Still a little guy, but a little bit bigger. Beautiful. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Very nice. Time to move. Oh, hello there. Of course you come up when I was looking at my phone. <laughs> oh, I gotcha. Perch. Another species. Little tiny perch. Oh, little feisty perch. Just gonna adjust my bait. Good to go. Oh, here we go. Right back down. These fish are finicky. Oh, gotcha. Ha, perch. That was quick. Super quick. First drop. There we go. Gotcha. Oh. Yay! Another sunfish. Another little sunfish. But nonetheless, another sunfish. It's a pumpkin seed. Beautiful fish, and there's more down, so I'm going to send this one back quickly. Oh, saw a couple of others. Hanging out by the bottom. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> that one came racing up. That is a perch. 
there. Oh, here comes a fish. Gotcha! Oh, that's a better one. That's a better one. <gasps> yes! Finally! Better sized pumpkin seed. Perfect. Beautiful. Not a giant, but a little bigger. It's more the size I was going for. Awesome. Here comes another. Come on. <laughs> so many on my screen. Brr. I need to keep my gloves on. And fish all finished. So I'm thinking of moving to another hole. I don't see anything in a couple seconds here. I'm just gonna fish this hole for a minute or two and then keep hopping around because the fish are obviously more active now. I'm not straying too far from bottom, which makes me think that I'm not crappy I'm dealing with here. Love to see some crappy, but I've not seen any. Okay, I'm gonna move. Oh, got a fish coming up already. Gotcha. <gasps> yes, finally. Oh, this is not a big one by any means, but ah, hold on, hold on, hold on. But it is a crappy. Love these guys. Look, beauty. Yes. Okay. There's another one down there. So this guy's going back quick. Finally, I was hoping to see some of them. It's another reason I kind of came out for the evening because they tend to get fired up in the evening. Okay, it's going to be one of my last moves because it's getting dark and I have a long walk. Oh, I've got a fish. Oh, dang! Missed! Need to go back soon. Oh, but I'm catching fish! <laughs> Another pumpkin seed, another little guy. Definitely not into the monsters today, but I'm okay with that. Beautiful. Hopefully you can see it, it's getting dark. Give it a few more seconds here, then I'm gonna move again. And I really need to start packing up. Okay. A few more jigs here and then I've got to head back. Got at least two kilometer walk with a bit of a detour because of the pressure crack. All right, time to go. Whew. So I made it back to the truck. It took me about an hour to walk the two kilometers back. Um, it was dark out, so I wanted to take my time and check the ice uh, as I made my way back. Also had a bit of a detour with that pressure crack, as I mentioned. And it also changed the way I fished today because I was hoping to fish basically around where that crack was located so that I could get off that weed line a bit. Regardless, I covered some water, drilled a bunch of holes. I fished um, from about five feet out to nine feet of water. Found some pumpkin seeds early on, which was encouraging because usually where I find pumpkin seeds on that lake, I tend to find crappies as well. I noticed the little guys were uh, reacting to the jig, so I stuck it out with a spoon, hoping to find some larger fish. Didn't really pan out, but um, regardless, I had an awesome day. It was great to get outside, great to get fresh air. Good exercise today too. I also walked the dog about two kilometers this morning, so I did about six kilometers today. Four of them dragging my heavy hut, so definitely good exercise to work off some of the Christmas meals I've been eating lately. Um, I had a great time. I'm super excited for what's to come this ice fishing season. This was only my second time out this year. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you below. Um, my goal for 2019 was to do a video per month and I definitely accomplished that. So this year for 2020, I'm hoping to do two videos a month and try to create more content for you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon.